Hello Taurus and welcome to your past, present and future tarot reading for March 2021. Let's get right in and see what Spirit wants to talk to you about for where you've been, where you are and where you are headed. We're going to start with a planet here and see what planetary influence is strong and going to lead this reading. Show, oh, well there we go. I was going to say show us Taurus and here we go. All right, Saturn. Saturn can be scary, right? But coming out in this reading, Taurus, you are finally wrapping up a lesson coming out of a heavier cycle that says the part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom. So you're wrapping this up in some area of your life. And so with this comes relief and brighter days. Let's pull some more cards. <clears throat> We're going to... Get your past, present, and future energies out, and then we'll pull some tarot to correspond. Show us Taurus. What is Taurus completing? Seven. All right, this is kind of a bonus. This goes with, oh, look at that. Nice. We're going to just set that there. That's specific for Saturn. Karmic balance. Oh, Taurus. Some heaviness is definitely going to be lifted off of your shoulders very soon. All right, so unmotivated for past energy. Budget and plan for present. And gratitude for future. Yeah, see, you're going to be happy. You are going to come into a lot of happiness. It's so... Um, the karmic balance flew out just as I was asking what specifically is uh, being completed with Saturn. Um, you've been balancing your own karma, um, <clears throat> getting your energies in order, Taurus, and you've been learning a lot through this cycle, okay? And now you're coming to the end of it, and so here, unmotivated in the past. This could be how you're currently feeling, and you're going to move into these energies, or you could already be here. You know, time is fluid, but... Starting in the past with unmotivated, you are tired. Um, the area of your life this is speaking to you personally, you, you're you tired. It's like, oh, I'm just, I don't want to go on anymore. Is anything going to change here? Yes, now we're coming into budget and plan. As the energies begin to shift for you, Taurus, as the cycle completes, there's some good karma that's going to come in for you. And this can come through many different forms of abundance, whether it's material, you know, emotional, um, mental, there's many forms of abundance. Something is coming to you. And with that, Spirit says you can build upon this. You know, this isn't just a, a quick passing energy. You can build upon it. And the way it all plays out leads you into feeling very happy, satisfied, and grateful in the future. So let's pull some tarot. Page of Swords, and I'm just going to get it all out, and then we will discuss. Six of Swords, yes, you are moving on. Thank goodness. Six of Pentacles, there's that karmic energy. Uh, temperance here in the past. Two of Swords. Seven of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, I'm sorry, Four of Wands. The Devil. And the outcome is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So you definitely feel uh, like this has been a very long time coming, Taurus, but it's finally coming to an end here. You are wrapping this up. So starting with the past in this Temperance, what Spirit's talking about is this has been a very long journey. And, um, you know, Saturn rules Capricorn, and Capricorn is represented by the Devil card in the Tarot. So this is heavy, heavy energy. Where in your life, Taurus, has things been heavy on your heart, on your mind, or just in the physical realm? Like, where has it been real tough and hard? And it's not just like for a couple weeks. This is something that's been on 
going and Saturn just moved into Aquarius at the end of 2020 so what you've been going through probably goes back like three to five maybe even seven years you've been working with this energy and finally you are at the end so spirits bringing us into the part of the reading where you're just at the tail end of this long cycle and you're coming back into balance you've got balance here you've got balance here and then karmic balance coming in and here in the near future the seven of swords Taurus what has been taken from you what has been lost is finally now going to return to you in a new form and um, this page of swords is speaking of a shifting of perception that's happening to you now in the present and you're finally able to move on and move forward because of this abundance that's coming to you now and we've been very blocked unmotivated very unsatisfied disappointed i'm just over it really is what i'm picking up on like i'm over it when's it my turn when is things going to shift for me when are things going to shift for me and it's coming in the very near future taurus and then here you are showing us the queen of pentacles this is earth energy and whether you're male or female coming through as the queen this is the more of the nurturing nature and this is where you are now in a place of receiving and the energy around you with the four of wands as things really stabilizing and what you've been fearing you know this journey continuing on so heavily and in this challenge it's not it's coming to an end and it's been long and it's been slow but you're only going to be better for it Taurus and there's like some sort of reward coming to you um some sort of abundance so let's pull some clarifiers on some of these tarot cards I want to go with this knight of pentacles like I get it that it's representing a very long journey that you've been on some of you this is the pursuit of money for sure and maybe along the way you feel like you've been very cheated or overlooked and those energies are balancing out in a big way and i kind of see that in all the readings for march it's like big time um energy balance karmic balance and i'm not an astrologist or an astrologer so I don't know like all the different squares and conjunctions and all the super intricate details. But man, there's something about March where energy is truing up. All right, let's look at this Knight of Pentacles. All right, we have... The Page of Pentacles, excellent, offer, news, stability, money, abundance, commitment, contract. Oh, nice, with the Wheel of Fortune, see Taurus, you are coming to the end of this heavy net for sure. Um, with we have a your reading is swords and pentacles heavy so this is mental energy things that have been weighing heavily on your mind and then like finances commitment or stability in the physical realm is the strongest message this is attached to for you guys and here it is long journey finally a breakthrough the wheel of fortune turning in your favor and things are going to get easier and taurus the way this all plays out for you you're coming into a place of just feeling really grateful and happy and you may um in this moment of the reading think oh, there's no way of that like how could this change or this has just been happening for so long i'm just i'm done i'm over it i'm fed up and then boom the energy changes your karma is balancing out and what was taken from you is now returning to you in a new form so let's check out that seven of swords all right just as i'm saying that we have the tower so you're going to be shocked and you guys are my fourth read and all four readings um so far, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, and now you, Taurus, all of you are getting this tower. Yeah, major shocking turn of events taking place for everybody. And this karmic balance showing up too. Five of Pentacles, yeah, what was taken from you? What was stolen from you? What you were denied, Taurus, it is now coming back to you in a new form. And it's going to shock you. And it's going to surprise you. And it's unexpected. All right, you've got the tower. 
for how it's coming back in and the outcome with the wheel of fortune like everything turning in your favor um for you because you have been denied the energy's been a bit thin what you've been putting out you haven't been getting back and you feel that and it's heavy and you're tired and you're frustrated but you've been working on this cycle here these lessons of the soul and as this completes Taurus, where we've been blocked in the mental body, um, it, there's clarity that comes in and you begin to understand your path better and everything that you've been through, like what it's taught you and how resourceful you've become and the inner strength you've gained and um, being more well-rounded, uh, being more expanded and evolved, like you're coming into the realization of that, like your journey, your path what you've been going through, how it has truly evolved you for the better. And it's easy for that to happen when something good's coming in, right? Because the good is finally returning to you and your heart is going to be filled with a lot of gratitude and happiness, Taurus. So I'm going to pull um, some more clarifiers just to look at this temperance energy a little bit deeper. strength see yeah you've gained a lot Taurus through these struggles you've gained a lot a lot more than you realize and you got temperance on temperance so um, a lot of this soul lesson has to do with you coming in to your personal empowerment um, two major arcana right here so this is big deal stuff like you realizing how strong you are how capable you are um, being there for yourself having your own back um, and this with the temperance like I feel the energies have been stretched very very thin for you and through that I'm telling you you have evolved so much and now you're going to start coming into the realization of all of that so you've been on a spiritual journey here Taurus and it's coming to an end and you're getting a reward karmic energy balancing where Saturn has uh, been really holding it back the floodgates are opening you've learned the lesson it's time for the reward the expansion and moving on into happier lighter energy for a while so let's pull a few cards to look specifically at this gratitude that's filling up your heart and soul because of the way things are happening quite unexpectedly seven of pentacles Nine of Cups and King of Cups. Yes, yeah, see, King of Cups representing your emotional body, whether you're male or female, feeling good, um, being very mature, grown, and wise. So here it is with the gratitude. You've been working hard. You've thought, like, you know, nothing's going to happen here. Very slow process. I'm tired of life. And you've been dreaming of all these things that would make you happier, would make your life easier and better. And it's starting to unfold. Taurus, the way your energy shifts is very unexpected to you. And your heart is overflowing with joy and happiness. What's clarifying gratitude, Nine of Cups coming in after a long, hard journey of um, lack, of struggle, of very slow moving slow flowing energy and through all of that not only are you receiving these gifts in the physical you're also really expanding into all of the wisdom from your journey and it's been there with you but um, when you come out of the struggle your energy shifts and you can perceive things differently and that's what's happening Taurus you're coming out of the struggle and that struggle is different for each and every one of you but you're coming out of the struggle in March so let's pull one final message from spirit for you I'm sorry for all that noise my kitty is getting into stuff there in the background taking advantage 
Oh, nice. Happy love. A joyful, stable partnership and good friends. Taurus, all is well. You are on track. Things are shifting. You've been on a long journey here. And uh, March is the month like that it all begins for you. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.